Hello guys! Welcome to Kasikoi Crochet. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this maroon alpine crochet top. So from the name itself, I called it alpine crochet top because I featured the alpine stitch in this one. Here are the following materials. To begin with, grab your yarn and hook, make a slip knot, and place 20 single crochets in the loop. After making 20 single crochets in the loop, slip stitch to close it and make a chain of 1 to start row 1 and then on the same stitch just make a half double crochet and another half double crochet on the next 6 stitches. For row 2, chain 1, turn your work and make 2 half double crochets on the same stitch and then place 1 half double crochet on the next 5 stitches. And another 2 half double crochet on the last stitch. Now you can make a chain of one and continue with one half double crochet on each of the stitches. So there will be no increases on this row. Okay, for this particular top, I'm using two colors, so I will be changing my yarn into white for rows 4 and 5. Okay, so just insert your yarn and hook, and then chain 1, and I'll make another one half double crochet on the same stitch. So, you are just basically going to place one half double crochet on each of the stitches except on the middle part where you will be increasing so at the middle you are going to place three half double crochets for the increase now i'm gonna be changing my yarn again with the maroon color and then just insert your hook and just repeat what you did on rows four and five so you're just basically going to place one half double crochet on each of the stitches and make an increase at the middle part. Okay, so the increases will be three half double crochets. And you are just going to continue that from rows 4 to 15. Okay, so as you can see here, that is where you will place three half double crochets.
now I'm done on the other side of the bra so I'm going to show you how to continue these after the increases so we have here from rows 1 to 15 now I'm just continuing this and then proceed to the next row by chaining one and then turn your work and just place one half double crochet on each of the stitches Just continue placing one half double crochet on each of the stitches until you reach row 28 or until you have your desired length. Now we're going to make a ruffle effect on the cleavage part by placing two chains. So one and two. Okay, this will be considered as one double crochet. And then on the same stitch, just place one double crochet as well. And then on the second stitch, place three double crochets. So we're just basically going to repeat that. Um, we're going to have two double crochets on one stitch and then three double crochets on the next. Now on the loop part, so we have three stitches there. So just apply the same pattern of two double crochets and three double crochets and then just continue this row with the same pattern and then after that just chain two or three which is considered as one double crochet and then place another double crochet so we are going to have two double crochets on the same stitch So just repeat that across. Now we're going to be working on the lower portion of the top. So this is where we're going to be placing our alpine stitches but before that we will have four rows of single crochets okay so to start off make a chain of 20 and then you can make more or less depending on the length that you prefer and then after that continue by attaching the chains to the bra And then place a single crochet on one stitch and then on the second stitch will be two single crochets and then on the next will be another one single crochet another two single crochets and you are just basically repeating that before you reach the, uh, the middle part okay or the loop part now we're near the loop so on the first three rows from the loop 
we are going to place half double crochets instead of single crochets so just apply the same pattern but this time um, instead of single crochets we will have half double crochet and then we have three stitches here on the loop we are going to make a double crochet together so there are three stitches there so we have one and then two and three so after this you can pull through all of them okay and repeat what you did on the other side so here we're be, uh, we will be placing half double crochets instead of single crochets okay so two half double crochets next is one half double crochet and then on the next row or stitches just place an alternate of one single crochet and two single crochets Okay, so on the other side of the bra cup, we place 20 uh, chains. So for this side, we are going to make 21 chains because we will be skipping one chain from the hook. Okay, so just turn your work for row 2 and then skip one chain and continue across by placing one single crochet. By the way, I will meet you when you reach the middle part or the loop part. Now we're at the middle of the top. So this time we're going to be placing 5 half double crochets together. So I'm going to place here at the maroon part. So these are the first three rows from the loop. So I have one half double crochet together. Next. Okay, another one. So we have two. And then here at the very center will be my third. And then the fourth one and lastly we have the fifth okay so this is how it's going to look and then after that you just continue placing one half a uh, one single crochet on each of the stitches Now for row 3, just simply place one single crochet across except on the middle part again because we will be placing three half double crochets together. So here is where we're going to place three half double crochets. So this is the first one. And then at the very center, will be the second half double crochet together and lastly another one half double crochet together and just continue across by placing one single crochet For row 4, place another single crochet in each of the stitches and then I'll meet you when we are at the middle part. Okay, so now here we are. So just simply place two half double crochets together here. So we have 
one half double crochet together and another one and then just continue the rest with one single crochet Okay, for row 5, this time we are going to place double crochets, so just make 3 chains and then place 1 double crochet on each of the stitches and then I'll meet you when we are in the middle part. Okay, so at this point, we are going to be decreasing for the very last time. Just make a double crochet together. And then continue this row with one double crochet across. Now let's proceed to row 6 by simply making chain 1 and then one single crochet across. Now we're going to start the alpine stitches by making a chain of 3 which is considered as one double crochet or you can make two chains only and then skip this stitch and under that on that post we will have a double crochet and then on the next stitch is a normal double crochet. Don't forget that you have skipped one stitch. Okay, again, skip the next stitch and under that will be a double crochet on the post. Okay, on the next will be another double crochet. Again, don't forget the stitch where you skipped. Skip again one chain and under that, place one double crochet on the post. Okay, so just repeat that across. Now let me show you again how to do the alpine stitches using the brighter color of yarn. So there's one thing you have to consider in making the foundation chain. So you have to make chains divisible by 2. So for this particular foundation chain, I made 11 um, chains because I will be skipping one chain here. So all in all, I have 10 single crochets so this is what I did on the crochet top so from rows 1 to 4 so just simply place one ha, uh, one single crochet on each of the stitches for the next row you can make two or three chains which is considered as one double crochet and then continue across by making one double crochet.
Okay, the next row will be single crochets. So just the same thing with what you did on the other row. Simply place one single crochet on each of the stitches. Until you reach the end. Okay, now make another two chains. We are going to start the alpine stitches now. So skip this because we have two chains already. And then we'll make another double crochet under this stitch. Okay, so on this post. So one double crochet on the post. And then skip this part go here and make one double crochet okay on the next skip that and then under that post or under that is a post make another double crochet so don't forget we are skipping one chain so here is double crochet and then skip one chain again and then under that Okay, is a post. So place one double crochet there. And then skip one. And then here is double crochet. So just repeat that until you reach the end of the row. Okay, for this one, we will make one double crochet on the post. And then continue the next row by placing one single crochet in each of the stitches. So if you want to check whether you're uh, doing it correctly, look at the back and make sure that there are um, stitches where you did not um, single crochet or double crochet. So this time, we're going to be doing again the alpine stitch. Okay, so just chain 2 and then skip this, of course. And then go to the next and here will be a normal double crochet. Okay, on top of this front post. So this time, we're going to work on the back post. Okay. So just double crochet there and don't forget that we have skipped this go here on top of the front uh, front post and then work on the back loop or back post rather double crochet here on top of the back or, or on the front post and then at the back post will be another double crochet so just repeat that until the end okay and then you will just repeat what you did so this time I'm on the last part okay so for the last row of this top instead of making single crochets for the row I will be making half double crochets so as you can see here I'm placing half double crochets across
so this is how it looks like right now and then now we will be extending the length of the back part by placing half double crochets okay so for the part where we have single crochets rows of single crochets just place one half double crochet there for the alpine stitches place two half double crochets okay so we have here two half double crochets on the alpine stitches and then on the rows where we have single crochets just place one double crochet one half double crochet there Now I have placed 8 rows of half double crochets. For row 9, just simply place half double crochets in the next two row at uh, next two stitches and then chain 2, skip 2 stitches and then place two half double crochets on the next two stitches and then chain 2 again. And then skip 2 and make half double crochet on the next two stitches chain two skip two and then half double crochet on the next stitches okay so you will just repeat that until you reach the end and then for the last row or row 10 we are uh, simply placing one single crochet on each of the stitches and then two single crochets on the chain spaces okay so i have one single crochet here and then on the chain spaces will be two single crochets Okay, so just repeat what you did here on this side but we will stop at row 9 only because for row 10 we will have um, single crochets all through here until you reach the other side of the bra cup okay so you will place one single crochet here on all the edges now we will be working on the lace at the back so just insert your hook and make two chains one and two and then go back to the same stitch and place one double crochet chain two again go to the chain space and then double crochet again make two chains so it's just a repetition Two chains go back here and make a double crochet so continue doing that until you reach the length that you desire and then make another one on the other side as well Okay, so this will be the last part. This time, we are going to be making the strap. Okay, so grab your yarn and hook and then make a slip knot. And then on the first row of the ruffles, and then chain a uh, single crochet and make two chains go back here and make a double crochet and then two chains again 
go back to the space and make a double crochet so we are eventually repeating what we did on the lace okay so just continue that and don't forget to measure this or to fit this on you so that you'll get the perfect fitting or perfect size We can now attach our strap here on any part of this one. But for me, I counted the alpine stitches. So here on the fourth. So I will just attach it by having a single crochet and then turn your work. And then single crochet in the next two stitches and then chain one and turn your work again okay in each of the chain spaces we will place one double crochet okay so one double crochet here then chain one another one double crochet on the space or in the space and then chain one just repeat this until you reach the end of this row so just chain one and make a double crochet on the space and then after that chain one again and attach it on the very first chain where you have started and then chain one and place two single crochets on each of the spaces okay so two single crochets in the spaces So finally, the last thing that you'll have to do is to weave the ends and then you're done. Okay, thank you for watching this guys. I just hope that you like this video and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And ring the bell as well so you can be notified for my next videos. Again, thank you for watching.